Kendrick Lamar. That's why I say Kendrick Lamar, yeah. J. Cole, and the nigga Chance. The, the three smartest niggas that I know in the rap game right now. Because they all three independent, and they all three, like, millionaires right now. And J. Cole, no, nah, not J. Cole. And Chance haven't been in the game that long. All them niggas is signed under Apple Music Independent. Even though, uh, Chance is being, which one? One of them being backed by, Chance is being backed by, I think, uh, what the fuck is it called? Rock Nation. It's even Chance of J. Cole. Oh, yeah. One of them niggas being backed by Rock Nation. You know Jay-Z on Rock Nation. Is what a, a fucking, and I know the lake is beating somebody's ass right now, cause I just seen it. Nah, uh, cause it was halftime like I say five minutes ago. They was beating. Uh, who they playing? I just seen it. They playing up. I don't know. They still playing the Trailblazers? Tone LA. Yeah. They right. That's what they playing right now. See, they was they was playing that Trailblazers like the first series or some shit. What the fuck happened? Cause it said it was yeah it was what, it's fifty seven forty one halftime. Lakers was up by like seven or some shit. I already know who won win that series because I fuck with all and I fuck with uh, Westbrook, but them two niggas, they be like, when them niggas cold, they ice cold. Like, they, they not hitting no shots. They might put them up, but they, they hitting bricks. But when they hot, they hot. That's all I can say. When they hot, they, they hit them niggas on fire, but they, they, they put the, the series one and one. Let me see. No, it's two one. Yeah, two one. And he looked like they about to lose right now. It's fifty eight to forty three, so third quarter. That's why I said I didn't want I didn't really want the Rockets to win that series. I wanted the other team to win the series. Cause they had a better chance. They had a to me they had a better chance of beating the Lakers. Like they had the parts, they had the people. They got big men. They got niggas that shoot around the perimeter. The Rockets only had them two. I'm saying you you had Chris Paul, you had a shooter, Schroeder, whatever shooter, whatever his name is, and you you had the big tall white boy. You had a couple people on that team. I just think they matched up better with the Lakers than the Rockets, even though the Rockets got two stars. <laughs> they let the Lakers win, man. See, I, I liked the Lakers back in the day when Kobe was playing with them, man. But I mean, I'm really not a, a LeBron fan like that. Like that nigga, like that nigga, like a thought for real. He out dick to dick. Like he go team from team, and then he bring hella niggas on the team so he can win a ring. Like if you want a ring, win one by yourself, or go to a team and and build. A chemistry with that team and don't bring nobody there and win a ring. He can't do that. He gotta bring like stars to the team. Like niggas is already established to the team to win and win a ring. Every ring he got, he got with somebody on his team that was like a number one player. At least in the top ten. Miami, the way uh Chris Bosch, Ray Allen. Yeah, fuck. It was another nigga when he when he was with uh when he went back to the Cavaliers. It was him, Kyrie, uh, J.R. Smith. Kyrie. Yeah. Now he with the Lakers. It's him, AD, and a couple other niggas. I'm like, man. AD. You you can't really. It, it's J. like. J.R. Smith. Man. What same you playing for? Lakers. See what I'm saying? So they got they got AD, Jr. Smith, and then they got 
they got a couple other dudes on their team that's nice, bro. Like, they got though. You can sit down the starters and put the put the bench in, and they still gonna produce points. I'm saying it's a set team. They ain't got they ain't got a six man. They got a, they got a, they got a, a knife man. They got every they got a whole shit. Their starters can be. I mean, their best players can be starters. So I'm like my my team just went down the drain though, like that quick. The Warriors, they my boys. Yo, if you the vision, VPC, KIX, your boy KIX, that's me, VPC Division Podcast, talk to my little man AJ, sitting back chilling, you already know how we do, we in this motherfucker, we talk facts, politics, any motherfucking thing that come across your mind, be it in here. For a while, nigga, watch the niggas do that thing where we got to act. This is bitch, somebody can whisper pussy. I'm out. Hey, I'm out. Look, I had, I had calls, right? Because I'm like, man, no, I'm almost done with the J and shit. Yeah, I feel it. I feel it. I brought that shit. See, knowing me, yeah. I didn't stocked up because. I go to the dispensary and shit now. I don't be getting nothing off the street. None of that That's shit. What's up. That's what's up. Hell yeah. You, you get the card and everything? Yeah, I got the card. Yeah, man. I got to get that shit. I got to get that shit soon. I got to get that money. Then, then another thing is, see, I be fucking with the beats. When I be making the beats, I be fucking with this joint. That shit, though. Damn, shit, that joint nice as a motherfucker. I'm trying to get me one. Big machine. I mean, I, I listen. I have an ear for beats. Yeah. But you know, I never really played one. Shit, them joints easy, man. <laughs> it's, it's it's like once you once you get a loop together, you throw some drums and some snares in it, and you high. You can, right. I'm trying to tell you, you gonna vibe off that shit. What? I was watching that nigga Cassidy, he was doing that shit. With some beats? Yeah, but he was just making them beat. Making that talk, they started from style. The beat he just made. Stay in the Nigga Cassidy nice with that shit, man. Yeah, Cassidy. He just getting old, that's it. Yeah. But I mean, shit. Still got wild words. He, he, he had a rap battle. He had a rap battle on Smack. Yeah, what, uh, Arsenal? That, you talking about that joint? Oh, no, I ain't see that. Oh, oh good? I ain't see that one. I'm trying to get on fire. I'm trying to get on URL to kill one of them niggas, man. Right, right. Because them niggas, Yo. they be saying the same shit that we ever... Every other verse when they would a nigga, I'm like, man, look, bro, you keep saying that same shit. Everybody know what you about to say. I'm, like, I'm trying to get on there, high less smack. You give me five right, racks, right, I get high, high, high that <laughs> shit. Get smack all that. Smack, 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 put me on this car. Right. Your ass. <laughs> shit, I, I, I take the first ticket. I don't need to be the main event. But I bet you the next time I'll be the main event, kill a nigga. Shit. Trying, look, them bars they be spitting, bro, I be like, you just need to get a metaphor after a metaphor after a metaphor. Right. Look, shit. Then all they know is gun bars. They don't know shit. Oh, yeah, yeah, bro. It's hella gun bars. Come on, man. Like, that's, that's what they preach up there. Yep. Gun bars. It, it's, it's, that's like the, the main like the main topic. Shit, I say everybody got a gun ball. You got the nigga, uh, fuck his yeah. name is. Shit, everybody, no, I can't even tell you that name, but all them gun ball this, gun ball that. That's why I showed he named himself, he, he named himself gun titles. Uh, what was his name? Yeah, 
little nigga from Merlin. Uh, T-Rock. Yeah, T-Rock. Yeah. He called himself the Gumball King. Yeah. Hey, I think what he wrote, he wrote with Surf. Yeah, Surf. I heard of Surf, yeah. Yeah. All them niggas. You rock with Surf in them. Okay. That nigga Surf. That nigga Surf Clip. Yeah, yeah, all them niggas Surf. Uh, Shug. I shotgun sugar. Yeah, shotgun sugar, get yeah, quick. Uh yeah, Arsenal. Awesome. Yeah. Boy, he cripping too. Oh yeah, man. Like man. Half of them niggas you are out cripping. And half of them blood. I know, right? That shit crazy. I'm, <laughs> I'm trying to figure this I'm shit like, out. Hey, that nigga, um, what's his name? Which one? Uh what's his name? Big light skin nigga, always with a hoodie. Uh I know who you talking about. Not old red, uh. He always got the hoodie over his head. He always got the hoodie, y'all. Shit. That's my man, though. I can't believe I. Because that nigga be. He, he did, he did that nigga, uh, he he owned um, Bob Marley. Yeah, he did that nigga. He did that nigga, uh, Bob Marley. Yeah, he did that nigga, 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 Bob yeah, they probably was. I think so. I think that joint, yeah, they was doing double. Hey, if I had my phone on me, I'll tell you what it was. Let me get my phone. I'm going to tell you what it is right now. Let me grab my phone. Your big ass ain't about to keep on putting your hands on me, man. It's a I rap know, battle, but. <laughs> shit. Cause I had to give. I was about to look it up on my phone, but I, you said it. Yeah, yeah. I, I remember that. I was about to look it up, and then I remembered that nigga had a weird ass name. That nigga. He be going in. Let me get out of slow. He said. I pull up. Slow fire. Hit a nigga, no fire. Some stupid shit. He ain't gonna right, win, though. Right, right, right. Some stupid ass shit, man. Some, it, some shit, you know. Yeah, it is. Man, they, all, they always want to talk about um, um, the bigger nine. He said, you may got a nine. Right. But I got a bigger nine. <laughs> yeah. That nigga Come crazy. On. He make this, the dumbest yeah. shit sound kind of hard, though. Right. Man, how the fuck you gonna have a bigger nine? Ain't, ain't, ain't they the same size? Right, right. And it's like, what the fuck? That's what uh, Arsenal was saying, too. Yeah. Arsenal was like, what the fuck? That's what he was saying, too. Like, I guess he was trying to put a play on words or some shit. Yeah. 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 Like, I guess he was trying to put a play on words or some shit. Yeah. But I heard the same shit. Like, right, like, right. I heard that shit. Because them niggas, they say the same shit, but then they be still each other lines, too. Yeah, for real, for real. Like, I be fucking with Hitman, though. I be fucking with Hitman, because he didn't eclipse DNA. Uh, what's the little oh, nigga name? Chess. That nigga Chess. Yeah, Chess cool. Sean yeah. cool. Yeah, Sean 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 c
Them, you know, that little nigga always stay fighting though. Sh- K Shine. K Shine, yeah, he too Then another, yeah. another shotgun sugar. He, he want rap and he want to touch your pockets and shit. The nigga touch my pockets, yeah, I'm always, beating him. That ain't like, see? I'm <laughs> beating him. That's why I said. He always doing that shit though. It, it had like, to be. If it's the wrong nigga, it's gonna be the wrong. Like, shit, he, it's gonna be the wrong. Like, hey, Sean, be he be ready too. Yeah, he definitely do. Every time, he be ready. He yep. be fighting the. He the littlest nigga be fighting the biggest niggas. Yep. Knocking them out. Oh, what's that nigga name? He he remind me of an old head though. Um, Who? what's his name? Uh, my man name, bro. Ab. Oh, uh, A-R-A? Or just Ab? I know you talking about. He be... He be... The just... blood nigga, right? No, he a big nigga. I'm saying he a blood, right? I believe, I believe so. I believe. I don't, all the niggas claiming everything. Yeah. I don't know who's on whose side and who, who don't fuck with who because... At the time, I be seeing them niggas fuck with each other, mm-hmm. and then be beefing, and I'm like, "What the fuck going on?" They, the niggas will say they beefing and shit, but then like, off camera, TMZ might see them somewhere together, or before they even go on on the URL, they be sitting there chilling together and shit, talking. I'm like, "How you? Nah, man." But your blood, I mean, your whole crew, you just brung his crips, like. That's why I said them niggas. You let a nigga, a real nigga get on that shit, the niggas, man. Somebody bust that fucking head. That's what I'm saying. That shit wild. I'm over that shit. I'm over there at the motherfucking. Over there at Columbia Heights. Look. The motherfuckers. The motherfuckers go crazy uptown. Niggas stupid. I'm telling you. That shit crazy, but hey, all I know is, you know, hey, I mind my business, you mind your business. That's how it's done. That's all I did. That's all. Stay out the way, go to work. Do they call me rap shit in this podcast shit? Yeah, and then. Then I'll be just trying, you know, just chill, meditate, flow, you know, do some shit on the side. Mm-hmm. Day to day shit. I got the I'm, I'm doing, I'm doing a little bit of traveling and shit, you know. Yeah. Going, going out of the country and little shit like that, you know. I did that shit about twice, but you know, I, 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 I'm trying. If I ever do. Is just get a motherfucking nice ass car and just pull up to a popping ass place like whatever got the most people. Motherfuckers just go out there motherfucking and stunt like get a car, get some jewelry. That motherfucker just pull up and be like, "What's up? I'm out here. I have a couple of my niggas. I'm out here. Yeah, you yeah. hella bitches." <laughs> you gotta go down Miami, motherfucker Atlanta. Or I said LA. Well, they be a hell crowd with hella bitches. Yeah. Shit. Just pulling hella bitches. Like, I'm gonna be like, I'm gonna be like granddad off of Boondock. She said, mm-hmm. "Call me Mr. Bitches." You feel me? Get everything. Yeah, right. <laughs> Tell you. Cause I'm over here. I'm trying to just hey, that shit coming though. That, that shit coming. It's my Oh, I'm out of side. Hey, I'm out of side with the motherfucking Baltimore Ravens out this motherfucker. Hell, yeah. Right. They, they, they disrespectful as hell in Washington. You gonna just call us a football team? That's that's dope. All right, I'm a Baltimore Ravens fan now, man. That's my look. They come on Sunday. They gonna do that thing. But I was gonna say about the DC shit. That's cause the the, the Reds getting suck, and then in the second team. Cut. Cowboys, they some trash. That's what I yeah. Fuck the Cowboys. Fuck the Cowboys. Every them niggas, them niggas is even. Like, if you if you was to say which team is better, the Redskins or the Cowboys, them motherfuckers is even. 
Because them motherfuckers could, them, them fucking Redskins could beat the Cowboys. Or the Cowboys could beat the Redskins. Them niggas could lose. Niggas correct, but that shit is like an even. Yeah, I'm about to say every season they do split games. Yeah, split games. Like it's an even match. It's never and sweet. It's like you, you over here talking about oh, I'm a Dallas Cowboy fan. I'm the fuck Dallas. And then them niggas is trash. Man, them niggas. You don't even hear about them niggas making anything spectacular happen. But it being Dallas Cowboys, what the fuck? Maybe back in the day that shit was lit. Man. But come on. Now the Cowboys some shit. They got rid of my boy Daz Bryant. I don't fuck with him. They got Zeke and some fucking Zach Prescott. Them two niggas. They alright, but they not they, they not shit. nice. They not nice like people say they is. They not nice. They 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 claim they nice, but they ain't. All the hype they give them, they give them too much hype. Like shit. I'd rather give somebody the hype, like, uh, who, like, who's a good running back? Shit. There's a lot of them. But just not, yo, from the Cowboys. Cause I said, what, Ezekiel? Yeah, Zeke. Because yeah, he, yeah. like, sometimes, yeah. like, sometime, like, you see, like, beginning of the season, he ain't, he not, he not running for five or six yards a car. He might get, like, three and two yards a car. He ain't going to bust that 15 yarder. And then, then in the middle of the season, then he might bust a 15 yard or 25 yard. He might run for five or six yards a carry. But then when it comes to you, like, them winning the actual game, this nigga fumbles the ball. Or just do something right. stupid with the ball. Or don't do shit at all to win. Exactly. Yeah. Don't. And, 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 right, he gets shut down a lot. Like, that shouldn't happen a lot. He's sitting on the sideline looking crazy. All right. All right. <laughs> sitting on the sideline. I, I mean, I'm gonna be honest. My my favorite player, I'm gonna be honest, is Odell Beckham. But that nigga be doing the same shit, sitting on the sideline, See, just yeah, watching be, the game go. That's cause that them niggas like for Odell Beckham, he like a high headed ass nigga. He he kind of young. So then when they get him in his head, is that stuff fuck with him mentally? That's when he be get over there like dropping balls. Then get on the sideline, he be bitching. But he cool like yeah, bitching yeah. If he not like on the high of the shit, he cool. Yeah. Yeah, I fuck with that nigga. I, I think I mean me personally, I think this nigga next step for either MVP or something, cause I mean nobody's doing what this nigga doing. You hating on him, but he 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 perfected his craft. You feel me? He coming back from injury. Right. He catching he catching a ball with one hand any type of way. Like he perfected. Can't be mad at the nigga. And, and how you gonna be mad at the nigga because he wanna wear different style cleats when there's still cleats right. for football? They be finding the niggas for that. Because, yeah, just because he customized them, just because he wanna wear a, a fucking dark tinted kind of a rainbow, you know, the little rainbow dark tinted shit. Yeah. He wanna wear that in a visor. They wanna be on his dick. Like, this nigga can't just play football like. Let the nigga wear a arm sleeve that look like a galaxy. Like you gonna you gonna really be like, oh no. That's because they ain't think about it. The NFL wanna think about everything and make all the money off of it. If he rocking his own brand, they don't want you to be making over your own money. But then you got exactly. Nick Chubb was cool. He did his thing a little bit. He just a big nigga for real. Who the nigga from the Titans? Yeah. What's that running back? What's his name? Henry. Yeah. This it was Henry. Derrick Henry. Yeah. Shorty, alright. That nigga's a that nigga's man, a beast. I'm about to say he damn sure is he a bull. See what he, he man look. Bull, if it wasn't for him not. if it wasn't for him, the Ravens would went to the Super Bowl. Like that nigga's a dick. Yeah, yeah. He ran over everybody. Hey, I was I'm gonna be honest, I was rooting for so fucking Baltimore. I was like Lamar I get this shit. But I mean, don't you can't even throw shade to Lamar. Lamar is the that is my favorite player. Man. Hey. That nigga is nice. He did his thing in that game. He, he did his thing in that shit. game. It wasn't even Lamar. It wasn't Lamar, but Lamar made it spectacular. He made that shit. If if Baltimore Ravens was playing, everybody was watching. Man. Lamar Jackson. Yeah. 
It's like in that everybody was tuning in. It's like in that game. The off the, the offensive line wasn't doing that thing. That's what it was like. It's like they was like think, it was I like think, niggas that was usually catching passes was dropping passes. I'm like, I just think they was nervous because most yeah, of them was young. I don't think they, I think it was the defense, bro. Like, if the defense had played stronger D for real, for real, and stopped the nigga, if they ain't let that, I mean, it, if they ain't let Henry run all over him. Then they yeah, they would have done. They would have did something. But Henry, the the thing is, when you in situations like that, there's a beast mode that come on to certain people, where they're like, I'm finna dominate tonight. Yeah. I ain't letting none of this shit. I, if these niggas try to tackle me, fuck that. They not tackling me. Sure. And, and Henry came in with that mindset, like, I'm gonna fuck this game up. Ran this through like game. six. He ran through like six niggas. Yeah. Every yeah, every yeah. other play, man. And I'm like, not just one play, every other play. I'm like, stop this nigga. They wasn't tackling. Like, I don't know what the fuck. I don't even know what happened. Like, if I could remember that whole game. game though. It was a good game, though. To be honest, it was a good game. And I mean, shit. I was, I was in Lamar's favor. It happened, but it's always next year. Like they say, shit. Yeah, they play. They play. Uh, what the fuck is they for? They play Sunday. But yeah, I know somebody playing right now. The Chiefs playing they, right they now. Playing, yeah, they playing versus. Yeah, I might. I'm, I don't know if I watch the Chiefs, bro. but I am gonna watch that. that they play the Browns. Odell gonna be playing too. Yeah, I ain't know who they played. I just know they play. So I don't know if they. I don't even know what time they play for real. One o'clock. One. Said one. Yo, I'm be on that joint. I'm gonna try and see what this football. Because you know, it's it's a new. You know, they doing something new with it. You feel me? Yeah. Fuck this guy. Uh, I know it's gonna be the same intensity because I like how they did it with the um the playoffs. You know. Yeah, the basketball. Playoffs is, like is, they more focused. There's no crowd, no noise. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So you know they're going to play harder. Shit. They might even play to their full potential because there's nobody watching. Some of them niggas might get nervous. Yeah. But it's, it's just like going to the gym for a pickup game. Remember, remember we used to just hop on the court yeah. and just get the ball in. That's how I probably feel. Mm-hmm. We don't care who. We don't care who watching. You can watch all you want. I'm finna get a bucket. I'm finna bust <laughs> my ass real quick. Yeah. Them right, niggas be going off. Game. Like last night, uh, of, uh, what was it, Boston? And uh, the Raptors. Right. Them motherfuckers, they went in. But they ain't with a double overtime. Tatum went off, but uh, right. the Raptors won. I think that was Boston. Ooh. The Raptors won, so now it's going to game seven. I think they play tomorrow. Ooh, see? The intensity. Right. The intensity. I'm about to say the young boy was going off hitting threes left and right. That's what made it go to uh, double OT. If Shorty wasn't hitting them threes, they'd have lost. But who who was it? Who was the dude? Uh, I can't think his name. The young dude. I know he not, he didn't just come in and at the NBA. He like this is like his second year in the league. And Lowry, he was playing all right. He had, I think Lowry had like at least like twenty eight points, almost thirty. Yeah, he came in with a dog mentality. But hell yeah. But that boy Tatum is nice. He Tatum They nice cannot man. stick short. He was mad. I'm 100% with that. He just walked down the court to start some, on some curry shit. I'm like, <laughs> you better stick him with the season's gonna be over. Yeah. And then if you don't watch him, he gonna duck on you. I'm like, yo, this young nigga, man. He got, yeah, he got the know, whole game. Too. And they got Kemba now, and that nigga Jalen Brown is nice, too. Yeah, they got them a little squad. Yeah. That's just, like, the best team in NBA loves. They ain't get swept. They won one game, and then they just lost the rest of the games. Milwaukee. Yeah, that was Milwaukee. Milwaukee, 
I wouldn't even thought they was the best team in the NBA this season. I wouldn't even yeah. thought they made it to the playoffs for real. Ooh, Milwaukee. Mm-hmm. Cause I don't really, oh, I don't really yeah. follow Milwaukee like that. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Who that? That's who. I don't know who the hell they was playing, but that's who that who just lost. Oh my god. Ooh, they was playing Miami. Yeah, that's who they was playing. Cause the Miami yeah. got, Miami got a nice team too. They got a, got a couple people on that team. I mean, they, nah, they, the thing is, Miami is, is, is the underdogs. Like, they weren't, they weren't even, they weren't even, like, supposed to go this far, you feel what I'm saying? Shit. They were supposed to be, like, the team that probably got kicked out, you know, because they really didn't have a squad. But we look at them now, and I'm like, look at them, they, like, they playing together. Yeah, and they play. Yeah, the chemistry is there. Chemistry. Yeah, they got a lot of older players too. A lot of older players have been in that predicament. Right. They just showing me the Western Conference. That's what that means. I mean, it's, it's mostly rookies though. Yeah. Tyler, Tyler Hero. What's that nigga name? Bam. Adebayo. I don't know nobody on that team. That's the crazy Jimmy thing, Butler. Bro. I, oh yeah. Oh, you, I thought Jimmy Butler was on Miami, right? You talking on Miami, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Jimmy Butler with Miami, and um, what's that dude named Goran Dragic? He's still there. Uh, they kept this nigga, yo. Know, they they kept him like he's making he making a name for himself. I'm trying to figure. Yeah, this nigga. Shit. Shit, I'll be going to the courts and shit too, man. Still be out there getting a cool bucket. Yeah, but I, I ball this summer. But I ain't ball against nobody. Like, that's on my level playing, like, no, no grown people. It was like mostly kids on the court. I need to put, I need to, like, put my ring on. See, I put my ring on silent, but I need to put a message on it, like, Busy doing podcasts or some shit like that. I don't know. Yeah. Shit. This microphones be picking all that shit up, like the buzzers, everything. Like when I be recording, if I say I got the TV on, maybe just a little bit, you still gonna hear the music, and I gotta re-record the whole song. That's why I hate that. Right, right. True. Sure. Yeah, man. Shit. Yeah, so That's what, what that you just got the, the stew in there? Yeah, I got this shit in my house. Uh, everything. The beat maker, the interface, the mics, the stands, all that's for it. I just needed it like I need a bigger mixing table for real. I got everything inside my in the computer virtually like as far as like the mixing master and all that stuff, the software. But like the MIDI outputs, I got all of that too. Like the joint I showed you, interface. Shit. That's, I mean, if you really, if you really try to record some shit, like, and you ain't trying to go spend your money on the studio, all you gotta do is buy the interface, buy the interface and the, and the kit. It probably be like two seventy nine. You might find one for like one eighty nine, or cheaper than that. Cause you get the interface. It's called a what? Interface? Yeah. Alright, look up uh fuck. Look up studio interfaces. Or recording studio. interfaces. If you look up like if you look up recording interfaces, then you might see something like pre sound, uh Scarlet, Dawn or something like that. All of them good. It's just really like the microphone that you get for like the clarity. And the soft the software you download. You might download Fruit Loops, you might download uh, Cubase, what is the other one? Ah, Pro Tunes. But then you gotta get you an iLock and an account and then make your subscription, you cool. Mix, record, do your own thing. 
I don't got waste no money at the studio for hours. Like you and your own shit for hours just doing it. Yeah. And you can cut the beat off and just sit back and write some shit. Smoke right, and get right. in your mood. Yeah, yeah. Right. Cause let's say how right, you go to the studio, now you paying an hour. You you might want to cut the beat on and sit back and chill and vibe. But you do that, but you're gonna be spending a hell of money. But you buy the shit wow. yourself. For like start off for like 150. And then as you go on, you progress. This like every every other week buy small equipment. Before you know it, she won't have like six different parts. You like, damn, where the fuck I gotta put it at? I gotta need a new table. And you got everything. Because mm -hmm. really, what and the thing they don't tell you, you really don't need to buy the beat maker. All you need is the interface. Everything is on the software. You can make beats on the, on the um, software with the computer. You don't need to uh, touch it physically. But Nick, some niggas like playing instruments. Like, I like to use the, the guitar and the, the, this drum kit. And, right? It's more, it's like, it's the sound to me when you playing the instrument is more authentic than on a computer. On a computer, is more robotic. So when you do this shit with the, with the keypads and the drum pads and the, the instrument, it's just like more alive. But then you gotta have like two mics. So I say like, as you progress, because I ain't always have like two mics. I got like four mics now, but now I'm trying to go wireless. Cause if I go wireless, hmm. shit I can have you up on a on my on a TV shit as the monitor for real because all you need is the app to connect the shit to the TV. Really, uh, HDMI cord, but I ain't do all that shit because I didn't even told y'all was fucking around trying to figure out the sound. Like hold up, I can the camera can hear. I got the shit, my, the microphone on that, but I'm like I can't even hear the fucking sound on the computer. It was acting like slow, so I'm I'm resetting it. And then you hit me, I'm like, alright. Just one chord, that's why I'm like. Read the manual, you see this shit, that's all I gotta say. Shit. You get high, right, you fuck with that shit. Okay. You plug one chord in wrong, you will be not hearing nothing or loud, dumbass noise. A loud, dumbass noise. Alright. Loud as fuck. I did that shit so, before. I was like, fuck, yeah, that shit was a big ass feature. We was having an event, right? And we got this big ass, it's like the big ass soundboard, the amplifiers and shit, and the big stupid ass speakers. So I plugged this stuff. I plugged the microphone and the speaker in the wrong cord, and all you heard was a big ass screeching noise. I damn near blew the speakers out for real. Like, <laughs> and my eardrums not getting like, I can't do that shit no more. I'm not setting up. <laughs> You live and you learn. That's why I said that. You gotta read the manual. Man. It's about to be going back to the store buying them cords. And them joints be like thirty and sixty dollars a piece. That's so like if you if, if you get a cheap cord and you like bend it too much and then move around, you don't get static. So it's worth the money. Make a shit. Throw that joint on iTunes. And you can set your account up with iTunes and get paid for it, but I don't be doing that. Nah, not on it's iTunes. No iTunes I mean, you know, iTunes is Apple for real, so you independent when you fucking with that. If your shit go like, if, I, if you start getting like 100, just say 100 views, not 100 views, like 100,000 views, more than that, they gonna start actually like paying you money because you know, it, it revenues like. I got some shit on Amazon where you can buy my my um, songs and shit, and it's not that it's not that much. It's like a dollar for real. Each song is a dollar. So how many songs is on the album? It was like thirteen songs. So I think that shit is like fourteen dollars for the whole album. The EP is like six albums on this. So it's only six dollars. But they break it up. They get ten percent. You get the ninety percent. So it's not like you getting a whole. That's and that's not. just because you were using their platform right. to promote? Right, right, right. Because I'm using that shit to promote and distribute. Right. Yeah, it could see that way you don't really 
It's, you can get a lawyer, but you don't need a lawyer because they doing all that shit for you. Everything is already copyrighted for you. Once you sign it and hit the a set button that you want to put your music on there, that's when you basically sign that contract saying that's your own beat, you brought the beat, and that's your own music. And you already know what's going to happen if it's not. Like, shit. I put some shit on YouTube. I used the nigga beat. They, they took that shit. They ain't take it down. They just mocked it. They was like, if you don't take it down, we going. I'm like, all right, I took it down. I'm not getting to you. Fuck it. It's that bitch ass nigga knows. I'm trying to tell you, no. It's that I, I fuck with his songs, but he go, how you going to try to sue a nigga that's trying to come up? Like, that? <laughs> no. He's straight. Yeah, he's straight. I let you off of that. Right. Yeah, maybe he hating all that. Mm -hmm. I'm know. trying to tell you. Maybe, maybe, maybe he felt maybe like, look, maybe right. he felt like a a nigga that's not mainstream yet just killed my beat. <laughs> he just bodied me on my own beat, so I, maybe I can't, I, I can't let him put it out. Don't do that. Right? Yeah, he can't have that job. No. Right. That's why with this shit drop on YouTube yeah. for the podcast, nigga. Now nah, you a bitch for that. You could have let that nigga shine. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. Like, damn, he could just say, all right, let me see how many, how many right. views. How many views they gonna get? How many likes you gonna get? I see where it's gonna go. Maybe I can put him on a rock. Come on. Oh, Def Jam, son. Right. I could use this young nigga for something. He's like, no, no, hell no. You're not about to make no money in this game off my beat. Get that shit off. I, I, I mean, I took that shit out. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, I still got the song, though. You, when they make that beat, they beat. They be ready to sue. They definitely do because they, shit, they got the masters to it. They be like, why not? They gonna yeah. get some money. You ain't getting no motherfucking money from me. They fuck you. I'm gonna I'm fight no bankruptcy and some shit. It's the, it's the millennials. It's the, I guess, them niggas been in the game a long time. Niggas try and get in the game, they be hating. That's what I think. I don't see the niggas helping niggas for real. It's more so the young niggas putting niggas on. Like, like the little babies, the the babies, NBA, them niggas putting niggas on. I see J. Cole putting some niggas on. Uh, a chance, maybe. Jay Z, one of the old ways I fuck with, he probably put niggas on. Because he be getting niggas out of that 360 jails. Like they be getting 360. <laughs> like, like, all right, low yachty for real. He don't know who the fuck he signed to, but he signed to like six different motherfuckers. He had the quality, quality control, Atlantic Records, and some other shit. So he got to go through five different companies before he get paid. Like, come on, that's a 360 deal. I'm not getting fucked that way. That's why I like. Uh. What's the nigga from Compton? Uh, 